This here is the um, Juvie Hap Nation tank, and I'm going to be doing a series of videos and um, on different haps. And I'm going to start this series with um, uh, a video on the Phosphochromus rostratus, Phosphochromus rostratus, which you can see right here. Of the juvies in this tank, this one is growing perhaps faster than most. They can get up over 10 inches pretty easily, the males, and uh, I believe in the wild they can get up to over 16, 16 inches. It's recommended that they not be kept in a tank smaller than uh, 70, 70 gallons when they're around 6 inches and then Beyond that, they should be definitely kept in tanks over 100 gallons. In the wild, they can grow, uh, or they can uh, make large nests, large craters. But in captivity, they don't seem to do that that much, even though they do uh, sift around quite a bit. And uh, one interesting thing about them is when they become scared, they can actually go... Uh, and bury themselves in the sand, in the substrate. It is recommended that you use real sand with them. They do uh, sift a lot of uh, a lot of sand, and if you don't use sand that is smooth, if you use something that might be slightly coarse or sharp, and some play sands and some blasting sands and things like that that are used in tanks can sometimes be a little bit sharp. They will get uh, irritation in the gills and in the lungs, or in the gills and the lips rather. So it is not rec recommended, as you can see right there, it took a mouthful. So it is not recommended that you use anything that might be sharp with a fish like this. So just your basic natural sand, your Caribbean Sea, things of that nature are what is recommended. It is also recommended that you keep a male and a subdominant male and several females, three or four females, and they can actually um, they can actually have a uh, a brood or a group of fry between you know like 70, 70 fry at one time. So um, if you want to uh, breed them and you create a good breed group, you can actually have quite a few of these fish pretty quickly. And, um, but they do recommend if you want to really bring out the colors in a male, you know, have a male that's, you know, around 10 inches or so and a, and a, and a subdominant male, maybe around seven inches and then several females. And you will have a spectacular male with blues and greens and uh, a variety of colors like what you see here. I've seen videos uh, on YouTube where people have been cleaning their tank and removed all the decor and lowered the water level and there was still a fossil chromis uh, buried in the sand and it's pretty interesting to uh, to watch somebody gently uh, running their fingers through the sand you have a, a, a fish like this jump out. The information on this fish I was able to get uh, over at the cichlid-forum website, you can see the page here. One more point about this fish, forget about having any plants that would, uh, that would actually need to be um, in the substrate because these fish are notorious at digging up everything and you're probably better off uh, using what I'm doing in this tank which is attaching plants with uh, super glue gel to rocks or in some cases maybe even tying them to, to, uh, to rocks with fish line because this fish is a notorious digger and uh, he will dig up anything that you might try to plant. 
So uh, that's it on this guy. I am really looking forward to watching him, uh, watching him grow, and uh, and I, maybe I'll possibly even get a sub -dom dominant male once he takes on some good size. And I understand that they can be pretty peaceful, even though sometimes they can be hard on the sub dominant male. Just something you need to watch, like you would with any cichlids. So um, there you have it. For more information, go ahead and look up the article at uh, cichlid, cichlid-forum.com, uh, and uh, there's some good information there. And of course, they have a lot of uh, a lot of blogs, a lot of uh, discussions about fish. Um, the next uh, the next fish I'll highlight here in the series will probably be either the linny. This fellow here with the unusual snout, or possibly the uh, maybe either the living stone eye, or maybe the hawk, the Malawi hawk, who I'm really enjoying watching. The Malawi hawk is uh, a very interesting fish, especially the way he uh, he hunts. He hovers over another fish and turns his head sideways and looks at them with one eye. It's actually very, very interesting what he does. So I might just uh, feature a little something on the uh, on the hawk which is back there. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will be uh, creating a playlist called Juvie Hap Nation. And on that playlist, we'll, uh, we'll have a series of videos where there he goes tilting as if he could fit anybody in this tank in his mouth. We'll have a series of videos that will be discussing and tracking each of these haps as they become older and color up. All right. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching.